Hello and welcome back, my students. How are you today? I'm very happy to meet with you again. Today, we're going to continue working with multiplication. This time, we're going to be talking about commutative property of multiplication. You're going to know how to work with commutative property of multiplication, and you're going to know how to use it to solve your mathematic problem. So if you're interested in learning more, stay with me. What is commutative property of multiplication? Mm, this is exactly what we are going to do today. The commutative property of multiplication states that if the order of the numbers that we're multiplying change, the product still is the same. So we can switch the factors and the product will always be the same because the order of the factors does not affect the product. We're going to work with pictures so that you can understand the differences. Let's take a look at these two examples. Four times five, five times four. Let's see what happened with the factors in these multiplication sentences. Let's take a look at the number four. The number four is the first factor. The second factor is five and the product is 20. In the second multiplication sentence, the first factor was five and the second one was four. But the product in both multiplication sentences is the same. And this is exactly what we can do with commutative property of multiplication. We can switch the factors, as I just told you at the beginning of the video, and the product will always be the same. Let's look at example number one. In example number one, we have three groups with four toy cars in each one. Four, four, and four. Let's take a look at example number two. In example number two, we have one more group, four groups with three in each. So example number one, we had three groups with four toy cars. Example number two, we have four groups with three toy cars, which become in the multiplication sentence four times three equals 12. So we can notice that three times four and four times three at the bottom are the same. And you can say, how can they be the same when the pictures are not equal? And that is because of commutative property of multiplication. As we are switching the factors, the pictures also would change. But what cannot change is the total amount. If you look at the total amount, in the first picture we have 12, and also in the second picture, in example number two, we also have 12. So the product in both multiplication sentences is the same even when the pictures are not equal. Summarizing, we can say three times four is the same as four times three. Even when we look at the pictures and we don't see the same amount of groups and the same amount in each group, the product, the total amount is the same. Okay, now we're going to see another example. In this case, we're going to work with arrays. Let's see the first example. In the first example, we're going to take a look at this multiplication sentence, six times four. To make an array, and let's remember uh, previous lessons, the first factor tells me the rows, and the second factor tells me how many in each row. My array needs to have six rows of four. So I am going to proceed to make six rows of four. Here I have the first row with four, the second row, third, row number four, five, six rows with four in each. Six rows with four in each. So this is the array that belongs to the multiplication sentence six times four. Now let's see the array that belongs to the multiplication sentence four times six. 
which is the same because of commutative property of multiplication. This multiplication sentence is telling me that I need to have four rows with six in each. Four times six, four rows. The first factor tells me the rows. The second one tells me how many in each. So three, four, five, six. Here I have my first row, my second row of six, third, fourth. Each of my rows have six. So we can say that six times four is equal, is the same as four times six. Even in the arrays are now the same because they have different amount of rows and different amount in each row, the product is the same. And this is because of commutative property of multiplication. We can switch the factors and the product stays the same. The order of the factors does not affect the product. Great job, guys! I hope that you understood commutative property of multiplication. And remember, if you have any questions, you can contact me. Here you have my email, mathmisramirez at gmail.com. I will be more than happy to answer all your questions. Remember to subscribe, like my videos, and I'll see you soon. Have fun with math. Bye. See you next time.